it's minister tiffany here and i'd like to welcome you all back to another episode of fresh future live right here on fresh future tv as you can see in here i'm excited and i'm excited because guess what we're learning about today you guessed right we're learning about the holy spirit again and yes you may be thinking dang we've been learning about the holy spirit for one two three four five six seven weeks already and guess what we can never get enough of the holy spirit so that's why we have a teacher who is equipped and ready to teach you more about the holy spirit you may want to grab a teddy bear for this one because we're getting ready to start and <laughs> Hi, First Future. My name is Jonathan, and let's bow our hands and pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. I hope everybody had a great day today, and I hope all the kids that have walked had a great day too. I hope all my cousins are okay, and I hope everybody in the world is all right, even homeless people. When there be storms and lizards, and do you name me when? Script time! Today's scripture is John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Hey guys, it's Miss Serenity. I just wanted to take a quick moment to talk to you about how I praise and worship. Praise and worship is absolutely one of my most favorite things to do. It's the time where I get to be close to God, where I get to, to sing to him and to dance for him and to worship him and just lift him up and love on him for being who he is and for being awesome and for everything that he's done for me. It's the time where I get to show my gratitude. So in this moment, as we prepare to go into praise and worship, I want you all to join me. So the first thing you need to do is stand up. Second thing you need to do is stretch your voices. Third thing is stretch your body. Mm, get nice and loose so we can get ready to dance. And the last thing, forget about who's around you. Forget about who's watching. This is your moment to give everything you have to God, okay? Whether you are a singer or not, God gave us all a voice. He gave us all movement. He gave us all breath in our lungs. So you get to use all of those things to give everything you can back to God and just show him how much you love and appreciate him. Enjoy praise and worship, guys.
compare or say this Nobody like you It's Miss Naya. Welcome back for another week of learning about the Holy Spirit. I am so excited to get started. But first, I want to hear from you. In the comments below, tell me one thing you learned about the Holy Spirit last week. Are you ready? Go ahead. I'm so glad that you all got to learn about so many great things last week. Now, this week, we're going to continue learning about the Holy Spirit. But before we get started, I have a little game. Are you ready? For this game, we're going to solve some riddles. I'm going to give you a riddle, and it is your job to guess what person or object I am describing in the riddle. Feel free to write your answers below in the comments. All right, let's get started. Riddle number one. I'm something in your bedroom you can find inside a case. 
I'm used by you every night as it's where you rest your face. If you guessed the pillow for riddle number one, you are absolutely correct. Let's get ready for riddle number two. This is a piece of furniture. There's a room named after this. It's something that's used every night because it has a mattress. If you guess bed for riddle number two, you are on fire. All right, now riddle number three is a little tricky, so I want you to listen closely. He is someone who helped the blind to see. He is also part of the Trinity. The answer to riddle number three is Jesus. You guys are doing great. Okay, this is riddle number four and the last riddle. Adam and Eve in Eden, Moses parting the sea with ease, Jesus healing sick people. In which book can you find these? Bible. Game over. Now I know you all did such a great job with those riddles. Those riddles may not have seemed like they had much in common, but in fact they do. All of those answers are connected in some way to the word comfort, which we're learning about today. We're specifically learning about how the Holy Spirit comforts us, which is really important as we go through our daily lives. So let's take a look at a moment in the Bible when Jesus explained to his disciples what would be done to give them comfort. Let's look at that by watching this video. The time has come. I'm going to leave and go back to my father. I'm going to prepare a place for you. Later, I'll come back and get you so you'll always be with me. You already know the way to get there. But Jesus, we have no idea where you're going. How could we know the way? I am the way. The only path to God is through me. Once you know me, you know my Father God. Show us God and then we'll be able to believe. We've been together all this time and you still don't know me? I am God's son and I am God. My Father and I are one. Everything I've done is by God's power in me. That's so hard to understand. We don't want you to leave, Jesus. God has an even better plan. Better than being here with you, Jesus? What could possibly be better than that? I'll ask God to send you a comforter, an advisor, a source of power, the very Spirit of God to live inside your hearts. Not just God here with you, God in you. Why are you sending him to us and not the whole world? Not everyone will have God's Holy Spirit inside them because not everyone will choose to follow me. Only those who show they belong to God by doing what he says. God loves everyone, but his spirit will only live in those who choose to love him back. Jesus, you're blowing my mind. It's never been like this before. You're right, Peter. Nothing like this has ever happened in the history of the world. But God's spirit will give you the power to remember and understand everything I've taught you. Plus. He'll give you the power to actually live it out. I'm telling you this so that when it happens, you'll know it's been God's plan from the very beginning. That very night, Jesus was arrested and sent to die on the cross even though he had never done anything wrong. Jesus took the punishment for our sins. He defeated death and came back to life three days later. He appeared to many of his followers. He gave them final instruction to tell the whole world the good news about Jesus. Then he returned to heaven right before their eyes. But that wasn't the end. Just like Jesus promised, God was preparing to send his Holy Spirit. Jesus told us not to leave town until the Holy Spirit comes. 
but it's been 50 days since the cross. I wonder when this Holy Spirit he promised will come. How will we know? Let's pray together until we hear from God. This must be it. I feel God's power inside me. We're all filled with God's Holy Spirit. There's a whole crowd outside. Let's go tell them the good news about Jesus. He's given us power to speak in different languages so everyone in the city can understand. The Holy Spirit is giving us the power to be able to do whatever God asks us to do. I feel so bold and courageous. I'm going to go preach to that whole crowd. And that was just the beginning of the mystery and power of the Holy Spirit living and working in Jesus' followers. His power is still living in you and me, yesterday, today, and forever. Connect us to the video we just watched. Today, we are going to focus on John 14, 25 through 28, which says, All this I have spoken while still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I love that scripture because that scripture reminds us that we can't always hear or see Jesus in our midst, but Jesus has given us the Holy Spirit who helps and comforts us, and we can rejoice in that. So I want you to think, have you ever spent time away from someone that you love or miss the people that you're separated from? Sometimes that can be challenging. So I now want you to think, have you ever taken something with you to remind you of those loved ones or your home? Maybe you have a special blanket or a stuffed animal that comforts you and reminds you of the things and the people that you love. Sometimes having a little something with you helps because it makes you think of what has been left behind and it lets you rest assured that you'll be together again sometime. So even though you might not see your family or home for a little while, items give you a little part of them and bring you peace. Did you know that Jesus did something similar for us? Before he died, he told his disciples that he was going to send them a special helper. He said he would be physically gone and they wouldn't see him but he wasn't leaving them forever. Jesus said he would give his spirit to comfort. That message was not just for the disciples, but it was for us too. And we don't see God with our eyes, but we do know his spirit lives in us. And we can feel that. The Holy Spirit helps us to pray, it guides us and comforts us. And we know that God is present we also know that we can experience God when we continue to pray, read our Bibles, and participate in worship services. So, He is always at work in our lives, and He will come back one day, Jesus that is. And for now, we'll take the comforting reminder that He'll never ever leave us. And the Holy Spirit is comforting us each and every day. Now that you know a little more about how Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to comfort us, it's time for some question and answer. Question number one, who was Jesus speaking to in John 14 when he said the Father would send the Holy Spirit?
was speaking to his disciples. Great job. Who did Jesus promise would be our comforter? the Holy Spirit would be our comforter. In the scriptures we just read, John 14, 25 through 28, what does Jesus say he will leave with us? Verse 27 says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Now it's time to get another perspective, a fresh future perspective that is. So I called on one of my good friends and I asked her a couple of questions. Let's see what she has to say. When I hear the word comforter, I think of someone that comforts me and supports me through rough times and helps me through that rough time as well. The Holy Spirit comforts us by um, giving us guidance and not leaving us to figure out things on our own. The Holy Spirit comforted me one time when I was little and I was afraid of the dark, but I knew that God was with me, so I wasn't afraid of the dark anymore. Now that we heard another perspective, let's take a look at how the Holy Spirit comforts us. First, the Holy Spirit comforts us through prayer. Did you know the Holy Spirit intercedes for you when you find it difficult to pray? Sometimes we don't know what we ought to pray for. But Romans chapter eight, verse 26 through 27 says, but the spirit himself intercedes for us. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the spirit because the spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Number two, the Holy Spirit comforts us through God's word. The Holy Spirit helps us to understand God's word and speaks to our heart as we read it. God's word helps us to endure, it encourages us, and it gives us hope. I am so glad that we all got the opportunity to come together and learn more about the Holy Spirit and how he comforts us. Now before we go, let's close out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to learn more about your word and the Holy Spirit you sent to comfort us. Thank you for reminding us that even though Jesus is not physically with us, we are never alone. We pray and ask that you remind us each day that we have access to peace. We ask that you bless us all as we go into our daily lives. And we pray and ask that you will allow us to learn more about who you are in the weeks to come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
I am grateful for the power of the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us, not only to guide us or to teach us or even to empower us, but that it comforts us. There are so many times where I've gone through a hard time and I didn't have anyone around me to help me at the moment. But right in the nick of time, God was there to comfort me. I could literally feel his presence. And that's what God's comfort is. It's when we can feel that hug and that embrace that we need at the right moment. And he may also send people to comfort us in our times of need. So in order to be used by the Holy Spirit, there's something that you must do. And that is accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And in order to do that, all you have to do is believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you are saved. So if you want to make that decision today, we want to hear from you and we want to help you and disciple you through it. So email us at freshfuture at thefreshstartny.org and let us know in the chat. Now, let's hear from Mike. Well, we're at the very end of our service today, and I honestly hope and pray that we all learned everything that there was to learn in today's message. Right now, starting right, right now, I need, uh, I need you on that couch. I need you sitting there. Um, I need you in that chair and you in the kitchen and especially you to go ahead and like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like, share and subscribe so that we can continue. Make disciples, make disciples. Our YouTube channel link is tinyurl.com slash freshfuturetv. And while you're at it, head on over to our church's main YouTube channel page, which is Fresh Start TV. Stay tuned for the bloopers. <laughs> Hey Fresh Future, it's Miss Naya. I am so excited to be here with you today. I have no glasses. Ooh. Now let's get... Now let's get... Now let's get a Fresh Future purse. The Holy Spirit comforted me by, um, hold on, wait. <laughs> the Holy Spirit. Y'all wanna come to my house? Cause I'd be bored as you can see. That. Born and raised on the playground. That's what I said. I don't want to get sued for copyright infringement. So we'll just see you next week, guys. Peace out.